Once upon a time there was a handsome and charming civet cat. His name was Bowani. Bowani traveled far to the village of Tondo. There he met a beautiful civet cat. They fell in love and decided to get married. Bowani dashed back to his village where he collected his bride's wealth and began gathering his friends together to join him at the wedding. First, he visited his good friend Mbenga the pigeon. who consented to accompany him to Tondo to witness his wedding. Then Bawani went to Nguma the python's house, and Python too was glad to be a witness. Bawani needed one more friend to join him in his trip to Tondo. He went to Ulu, the turtle's house. Ulu said he was afraid he might be too slow and might hold them up in their trip to Tondo. But Bawani laughed and said Turtle might have a head start if he would start off early and meet them at the crossroads. Bowani saw no harm in that, and so the party rested while they waited for the date palms to ripen. And so they waited one week, two weeks, three weeks. Finally, the date palms were ripe. Oh, how Mbenga ate. She ate and she ate, and she ate. Presently, the wedding party, Bawani, Pigeon, Python, and Turtle was off again on the road to Tonga. <laughs> I 
am sorry, Bawani said Nguma, but I must have a little time to digest my dinner. You waited for Mbanga, and now I must ask that you wait for me. Of course, my friend said Bawani, we'll be happy to let you digest your food. And so Bawani and his friends waited again. One month, two months, three months. the wedding party, Bawani, Pigeon, Python, and Turtle was off again on the road to Tonga. <laughs> friends were less than a mile from Tondo when a terrible obstacle appeared in their path. It was an old tree trunk. Bawani jumped over it. And Banga flew over it. And Guma slithered around it. But Ulu Poor Ulu couldn't go over it, or around it, or under it. Oh, Bawani, yeah. I am stuck here before this old tree trunk. We must all wait until it rots if we are to go to Tondo. Bawani tried to object, but Turtle reminded him of how they had waited for Pigeon and Python. There was no arguing with that. So... They waited. And they waited. One year. Two years. Three years. Imagine the jubilation of the wedding party when at last the old stump crumbled into the ground. Yay! Once again, Bawani and Benga and Guma and Ulu were on the road to Tondo, and this time they arrived at their destination. Bawani entered the village of Tondo and found his true love sitting near a basket in the middle of town. Where have you been? she asked tersely. Bawani told his love of the trials he and his friends had faced on the road to Tondo. You waited for a stump to rot? You waited for a python to digest an antelope? You waited for date palms to ripen? Thank goodness I was smart enough not to wait for you. With that, two beautiful kittens appeared out of the basket. Who is this fool, roared the largest, meanest civet cat Bowani and his friends had ever seen. And the beautiful civet cat introduced Bowani to her husband. Right before her husband showed our friends the fast way out of Tondo.